potential for you is defined by the eyes of the beholder, by the people around you. Some people could look at you and see all sorts of potential, and others could be like, oh, I'm not sure what potential everybody's talking about. Think about this. Think about this. Consider this. Did Jesus fulfill his potential? Did Jesus fulfill everything that was possible? I mean, you got to ask the question. I, I, at first glance, it's like, well, he came back from the dead. That's pretty freaking cool if you ask me. I'm, I agree. I agree. Okay. But did he fulfill his potential? Because for some of you, there's a small group of you here that you're wondering where you stand with Jesus because he didn't live up to what you had hoped would be possible. The prayer that you asked. And so you're wondering potentially what's going on with Jesus. Think about it when Jesus walked the earth, did he heal every single person that came into contact with him? I mean, we like to think yes, but the answer is no. There are scriptural examples in the Bible where there were people that he didn't heal that later show up and experience something miraculous with one of his disciples. So he didn't live up to his potential there. He didn't fulfill everything that was possible. Did he overthrow or like cleanse the religious system of all the corruption? The answer is no. Did he overthrow Rome, which is what every Jewish leader wanted? The answer is no. Think about what we're celebrating this weekend, Palm Sunday where an entire movement of people came out to the Mount of Olives, down Palm Sunday Road, declaring him, Hosanna in the highest, celebrating him, declaring his potential, and he practically ignored it all. Why? Because Jesus knew what everybody else could not see, that his purpose mattered more than his potential. And I think the same thing is true for every single one of you. You see, you can spend your whole life chasing potential and miss your purpose. 